you very much indeed. It's a real honor to be here, Your Eminence. It's an honor to serve with the uh, Grand Mufti of Kazakhstan. Uh, and as I look out uh, at you in the audience, let me just say it's a real delight to see the proportion of women who are present. But to counter that, I also want to say it's a real delight to see the proportion of men who are present for the sake of talking about the place of women in society. People often ask me as a female leader what has been important for my own empowerment. And I want to say to you there's never a single answer. It begins in the home with a mother and a father encouraging it. But it is also about the way in which men in society have enabled and encouraged and opened doors in order that women have a voice and can walk through them. So it takes all of us to work together. I'm so glad to work with you. In a moment, I'm going to introduce the second speaker and we will alternate. But I just want to say one thing before I do which is a warning and a challenge. Before I introduce uh, the fourth and the sixth speaker, I'm going to invite you in the audience to have one or two minutes to speak to the person next to you in order that you can consider the issues one-to-one -one before we have an open microphone at the end. I'm just letting you know that in advance because I know it is breaking with tradition here. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Layazat Suleiman, who is the Deputy Chairperson of the National Commission for Women's Affairs and Family and Demographic Policy under the President of the Republic of Kazakhstan, the Deputy of the Senate of the Parliament of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Mr. Suleiman, we really look forward to hearing what is going on for the empowerment of women here in Kazakhstan. Rahmet, Khurmet, Martibele, Dr. Oyes Khanum, Martibele, Bas Mufti.